Hi guys, welcome to She Is Sick. I am your host, B. Steel from sheissick.com where I show you how to maximize your wardrobe in more than one way. So today I wanna talk about bra fitting 101 because everybody needs to know about bras and the fit and the comfortability in all of life, right? So you probably are talking about bra fitting 101. What can she possibly talk about? I mean, it sounds like common sense, but for a lot of women, they don't know what I'm even talking about, okay? So I had to do a little bit of research just so I can get my statistics right on how many women in the world or probably America, I'm not 100% on that fact, don't know their bra size. So there's 85% women, right, wearing the incorrect bra size. I don't know what that tells you, but that tells me that that sounds not so good, but Either way, I just want to get straight to it. Pretty much, I'm going to talk about my Victoria secret experience, right? Because that was like a really big thing way back in the day when I was younger. Because, you know, like they advertise like the pink and the cutesy and the nice bra that they have and the sexiness, everything they advertise. So I probably was in probably eighth grade high school. Can't remember, but I went to get bra fitted because unfortunately, love you mama, don't feel no type of way, but she never took me to get bra fitting. And I'm assuming that's because her mom never took her to get her bra fit. So <clears throat> pretty much I go to Victoria's Secret, I get fitted, right? And they told me I was a 3060. Now being what, 14, 15, I'm like, 36D, oh, that's nothing. You know, I'm not thinking anything of it because it's my first bra fitting, right? Hell no. So at that time, I couldn't afford Victoria's Secret bras. First off, I didn't have a job. I was too young at the time and in my mind. And like, uh, I, it, you know, I just didn't ask my mom to buy me bras. It just was something that I didn't do, unfortunately. Not saying that I didn't wear bras because I did, but I just wore like Walmart bras. So, you know, all these years from that age up until I was, what, 23, I never knew what my bra size was, y'all. And y'all probably like, girl, that's like 10 plus years. Like you was walking around thinking you was the same bra size for all those years. Unfortunately, I did until I had my son, Jace, who is now two. So, When I was 23, which I'm now 25, I was working at Nordstrom and I was interning as a visual stylist. I was like, let me go get bra fitted. You know, since they have certified bra fitters, right? Like they're trained and certified to do this. Like this is their job. Ain't no joke. Ain't no game. They know what they're doing, right? So I go in and I ain't gonna lie, it was a very uncomfortable situation because I had to take my bra off and I'm not... 100% 100% confident with my breasts. I'm not going to sit here and flex like I am because I'm not. Because I feel like when I take my bra off, they looking at, they looking at my knees when in reality, they probably not. But, you know, I'm, I'm a drama queen anyway. So that's how I roll. But take, take my bra on, get measured, put on a couple of new bras, finally find out that I'm a 32G. Yes, I said it. G as in go. Okay? And y'all probably be like, I didn't even know they went past the D. Let me tell y'all something, okay? Because I'm trying not to swell. I was so mind blown because I was like, 32G? Like, what is this life? And then to make matters worse, when they were showing me the price of the bras, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have to save a couple of coins because I cannot afford that right now. The bras were like $60, $80, $70. I'm like, Jesus Christ. What would I give to just buy a $30 bra and keep it pushing? Okay, I ain't gonna flex. I want to be a part of the C cup, D cup committee because the bras is cheaper and you can buy them anywhere. That's that, right? So I want to talk to y'all today because I'm I'm telling y'all that you need to go get fitted if you have not gone to get fitted because it is really important that you keep your babies looking nice, you keep yourself comfortable, and don't nobody want double titty. And if you don't know what double titty is, then you tripping because everybody should know what double titty is. And excuse me if you feel offended by the word titty. So these are some signs that you should be aware of when you know you're wearing a wrong bra, right? So let's get to it. <clears throat> so if your bra is too tight, which causes double titty or overlapping, 
or spillage, which some people also use, you need to buy a new bra. Because that means this bra is causing indentions in your skin. Like you take it off, you're bruising. Like you need to just suck it up. Take your behind to the nearest, nearest Dillard's, Belk, Macy's, Nordstrom, wherever you can go that has certified bra fitters and at least buy you one bra. Yeah, you, know, you know, I ain't saying go crazy and buy like 10 bras worth of $60 a piece. You know, who got $600 just spending like that? I don't. But you do need to invest in at least one bra if you can because... You know, that stuff can affect you in the long haul. You know, that's cutting off your circulation, your blood flow. And you think it ain't until you collapse. And then it's another situation. Okay? You know, or if you're bra too loose. That's another one. I mean, I ain't ever had them problems. But technically, what I've learned from when I buy my bras, you are supposed to hook your bra on the loosest one. So that way, if you lose weight, all you do is tighten it up. You, you, y'all get what I'm saying, right? Let me, I actually have to check my own bra to make sure I'm not lying to y'all. Yeah, so, you know, and not even if you just lose weight, just, you know, it's just something you shouldn't have to go to the tightest one. Oh, that's not what it's for. Sorry, I lied. It's not for if you lose weight. It's for when you have worn it out that you can hook it closer and closer so that way you can use the elasticity for as long as, you know, it's supposed to go. So that's where your bra is supposed to hook on the, on the one on the right to the farthest right. And then it gets closer to the far left when you've worn out your elasticity. Everybody on the same page? Great. <clears throat> so, and then also when you don't wear the right bra, it causes tests. It's sagging. And I'm sorry, but... You know, I'm too young to be looking like I got grandma breasts. That's just, that's just, for me, that's not a goal that I'm, that's not a goal that I'm trying to like, you know, reach for is to have a sagging breast. (laughs) Sorry. I don't think anybody reaching for that. But yeah, so my tips on what you can do for your first fitting, because I know me telling y'all my Nordstrom fitting experience might sound like horrific, but it really wasn't that bad. I actually, you're technically supposed to go at least once a year to get bra fitted um, because you never know if you're on birth control or even if, you know, you have stress and other things that causes ups and downs and weight gain or weight loss. So you have to go at least once a year to make sure, you know, you're treating your baby girls right. You know what I mean? So what I recommend for y'all to do if you go for your first fitting and you've never been fitted is to just be open-minded, especially if they tell you H cup, which I'm currently in H cup. Y'all should be open minded because at the end of the day, I was when I was when I get when I did get labeled as a 32G, nobody ever knew that I was 32G once I was wearing the exact bra that I was supposed to wear because it's it conceals it, it lifts you up, it you know, it makes everything fit in all the right places and it creates that amazing illusion that, you know, you smaller than what what your number looks sound like. Cause I'm gonna be for real. A G sounds like the size of the moon when I first heard it. Cause I was like, God, you know what? Okay. So, and then also if you go, cause I mean, I love Nordstrom, but that's only cause I used to work there. So shout out to all my naughty girls. But as for the best sales representative, I ain't talking about somebody that just started. I'm talking about somebody that's been in the game for a couple of years and know what they're doing that has replete clientele, okay? They can tell you off the top of their hand, oh, no, you don't need a panache bra. You need, I can't think of the other brand name, but uh, Calvin Klein is not, no, nah, not Calvin Klein. I can't think of the name to save my life. But it'll come to me one day. But, you know, somebody who knows the top of their name, off the top of their head, Panache or Freya or something and what might be the best for your price point. You need somebody to know that know what they're talking about. You don't need no, 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 no newbies. That just don't work like that. And also let them know it's your first fitting so that way they can know that you might be a little uncomfortable in the situation or that they need to like accommodate your uncomfortability. You know, make sure they're asking a lot of questions, taking it slow with you, not rushing it, not just trying to get the sale. And might I add, if you with a sales associate that seems like they're just trying to get the sale, then you need to get the hell on out of there and find a new person because that's somebody who you do not want to spend your money with. Because at the end of the day, all they care about is quantity, not quality, boo-boo. And you need somebody that care about your tie ties just as much as you care about your tie ties. Okay? 
Um, save money in advance because, like I told y'all, it was like sixty dollars for my bra, eighty, seventy. I spent a hundred dollars on two bras recently—a sports bra and a regular bra. Okay, and <laughs> the pockets was, you know, they was crying for help, Lord. They was crying for help. But the point is that you need to save a little bit of money before you decide to go there, because just in case you want to buy like five bras, you want to have a couple of maybe a couple three, four hundred dollars. You know, just so you're not limited on how many you can get if you choose that you need that many. <clears throat> and all I'm saying, y'all, is just invest in your tatas like you invest in your wardrobe. Okay? Like, it's just as important. You, you know, you want to look good. You want to feel good. And, you know, that's just how it is. So, you know, just don't be upset if your cup is bigger than a double D because it does exist. I really want to stress that because, yeah. Is, is really is really that crucial so if you guys like this podcast this is my first podcast just share it because i really think it's really important that every woman that's listening to this right now needs to go get bra fitted this weekend or whenever that next paycheck come or that next budget is created um because you know you just want to be comfortable nobody wants to feel like oh my breasts are on the floor or they on my stomach or they where they ain't supposed to be so you know just to maximize your wardrobe and to make sure that you're comfortable and confident in what you're wearing, you know, go get bra fitted. So if you like this podcast again, make sure you share it. You can follow me on my social media, which is only unfortunately Instagram and Twitter at the moment at she is sick on both platforms. And I'll be sure to give y'all a shout out. Um, If you guys have any other content or things you want me to talk about, please email me at editor, E-I-D-T-O-R, at sheisick.com. Again, that's editor at sheisick.com. Again, I'm your host, Be Still. Until next time, y'all, peace.